Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. This is Tech PBA. So in this video, I will show you how to sign into OneDrive on your Windows 10 PC. And then also I'll show you how to back up files and folders on your Windows 10 PC to OneDrive. So OneDrive is a cloud storage system by Microsoft where you can sign up. And then when, once you sign up, they give you some free gigabytes of um, cloud storage where you can keep your files and folders and your personal stuff. If you need additional um, storage, you can purchase them. So the first thing I will do is to open Explorer. And usually when you open Explorer, you will see the OneDrive um, folder in the navigation area. But in this case, when I opened Explorer, I couldn't see it there. No problem. When you open Explorer and you don't see it's there, there is another way to go about it. So you, the way is to click on Start, and then in the application list, just scroll down to the O section, and then you will see OneDrive listed there. Once you see it, just click on it to open it. And then when you open it, you will be prompted to sign in to your with your Microsoft account. So go ahead and then type your Microsoft email address and then click the sign in button. Mine, I had already um, signed in before I started this video, so it remembered the password. But in your case, um, if you haven't, if this is your first time, if you hadn't signed in before, if, or if you haven't signed in before, you'll be prompted to type your password in the Microsoft sign in pop up page. Type the password and then you'll be signed in to your or to the Microsoft OneDrive um, application. So from here, we can see that um, uh, down there, we can see your, micro, the, your OneDrive folder is here. So the OneDrive folder is located in that um, location shown there, which is C colon backslash users backslash admin being the user and then backslash OneDrive. So that is where the OneDrive folder is located. And you can actually change the location by clicking the change location. And then that is the location of the OneDrive folder. So it's in C, and then the users, admin, and then that is the OneDrive folder. So that is where your items you are backing up are located. So I'll click cancel. You can actually change it the location to anywhere else you want your lo the location of the OneDrive folder to be. You can put it anywhere at all, or you can even put it on an, um, a network share or an external drive. So I'll click cancel, and then we can continue with the video. So once you have that, you click next. Once you sign in, click next. Um, in your case, you might not see this pop-up, but if you see it, click the Use This Folder. And then over here, we can see um, the default folders um, on your PC, on your Windows 10 PC. So those are the Documents, Pictures, Desktop, Music, and Videos um, folder or folders. By default, um, in the OneDrive Backup um, folders, uh, only three are selected, which is the documents, pictures, and desktop folders are selected. So in this case, um, we're going to leave the music and the videos unchecked. And then at a later time in the video, I'll show you how to add those other folders um, to the backup. So I'll click the Starts Backup. Then... That should close, and then from here we can click on the next button to go forward. We'll click next again, and then next again, and then over here it's asking you to install the app on your mobile device, but I'll click the later um, to continue. I'll click the open my OneDrive folder, and then there we have it. So the default ones that were selected, the desktop, the documents. So those are the items on my desktop which are being backed up. 
And those are the items in my documents which are being backed up. And then those are the items in, on the desktop which are being backed up. So as you can see, you can see some green um, check mark beside the icons or the folders that are being backed up and also some cloud um, icons beside it. it. It shows you that those items are being copied onto, your, onto the internet or onto the cloud. So just take note of that. And even if when you check on the desktop, you can see that some more items have um, green check marks on them. So, um, so what if at a later time you realize that you are keeping stuff in your music folder, your videos folder, and you want to add these other folders and other, any other personal folders you want to add to the OneDrive um, folders for backup. So let me quickly also show you how to do that. So the way to go about that is to click on the arrow up in the notification area. So go ahead and then click on the arrow down in the notification area representing extra items in the notification area. You will see the OneDrive, OneDrive icon over there. Click on it and then view all the items in the folders that you selected to be backed up onto your OneDrive storage. Um, click on settings, click settings again. And then from here, you will see the settings that we saw earlier in this video. Um, so you can click choose folders to view the folders that are already selected for backup, desktop documents, pictures. Um, the ad other ones are added automatically by Microsoft once you sign up for the service and then you can also see the location of the OneDrive folder. So I, I will click cancel and to add additional folders, go ahead and then click the sync and backup option. And then under sync and backup, click the manage backup on the right to add additional folders. From here, you can add and or you can select additional folders for backup or you can also deselect um, some of the originally selected folders for backup. You can deselect them so that the system will stop backing those um, folders up. Once done, once done with your changes, click the Save Changes. And then from there, you can click um, the View Progress to see the files being copied onto your OneDrive storage accounts. So scroll through them to make sure that you have everything um, being backed up. From here, guys, we have successfully signed in to OneDrive on our Windows 10 PC. And then we also, we've, also, we've also added folders, files and folders to the OneDrive backup. So guys, thank you for watching. Kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to support us to bring you more of such videos. Click on the like button if this um, video was helpful. Please turn on notification to be the first to see my videos every time I upload them. Click on the share button to share to others. Thank you, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.